in part B and C, I use the competing square to demonstrate again to let you experience a little bit more. So x squared together with 4x, so I recognize it's something squared plus 2 something something. It should be 2, so what I need is 2 squared, and I need to immediately minus 2 squared afterward. So the first three terms is give us x plus 2 bracket squared, and then we have minus 4 as a byproduct. For the y term part, y squared plus 6y, so it is y squared plus 2 something something. 2 times something give you 6, so you know it is 3, and it's come from 6 divided by 2. Is give you 3. So what we need is plus 3 square and then we immediately minus 3 square. So we have the first 3 term is become y plus 3 bracket square and then we have minus 9 as a byproduct. Finally the original constant from the question so we just copy it down without any calculation. And then we tidy up we get x plus 2 square plus y plus 3 square minus 4 e to 0. So x plus 2 square plus y plus 3 square is equal to 2 square. So by using this format, we can easily identify the center is negative 2, negative 3. It's because it's x minus negative 2 to give you this. y minus uh, negative 3 in order to give you y plus 3 inside and the radius is equal to 2. So similar calculation in part C, practice make perfect or you may try it by yourself first. So we have x squared minus 8x therefore x squared minus 2 times x times something. What we require is 4. 2 times 4 give you back 8. So plus 4 square and then immediately minus 4 square. First three term, fulfill our requirement. Put all the unknown, become one term. And then we have a bright product, minus 16 left. After that, positive y square minus 12y, which means something square minus 2 something something. Then I realized that 2 times 6 gives us 12. So what I need is 6 squared. And I can't change the value. Minus 6 squared immediately. Focus on the first three term. We have y minus 6 bracket square. Minus 36 as by product. Finally, don't forget we have plus 3 from the question. So tidy up. and then make it become standard form. We can easily find out that the center is 4 and 6. And then the radius is equal to 7. In quadratic function, you learn in form 4, uh, the technique of competing square will provide you the vertex form of a quadratic function and hence you can get the vertex easily. So you can also apply this technique in equation of circle.